Well, hello everybody, and here we are again, once again, playing a dating sim, but this time it's on my channel, so I get to say, here's the wonderful, the amazing, the fantastic April. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> and here's the person who called me a father figure. <laughs> say hello, Laura. Hello, Laura. Are you still not over that, Dad? You and then go to your room that? without supper. <laughs> I will be your father figure. Alright, <laughs> 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 alright, well, as you all know, we, we're playing uh, a couple of dating sims uh, at the moment. Um, we're playing um, on their channel, so we decided to do one of mine because, you know, Damien's not getting out enough and he's, <laughs> need, just needs a, another, another one. So we're playing Fading Hearts and quite frankly, I know nothing about it. It's going to be a journey for all of us, yep. and hopefully I'm going to be voicing Damien as a four-year-old girl. We'll see. <laughs> it's the really cool thing about this game is that it changes genre based on the choices that we make. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And yep. I now know something about the game, and I'm utterly disappointed. I don't know about you guys. Okay, <laughs> right. Let's start the game and see how we go. I mean, it can only go downhill from here, can't it? <laughs> the, the timeline state will only be read when beginning a new game. Good. <laughs> oh, Hey, girls. Okay. All right. Does somebody want to play Alice? I think that should be the person that's good at accents. <laughs> Me. Over to you, Laura. Over to you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. April, you go, Dylan. <laughs> Hello there. I'm Alice. Come on, Laura. Go on. Oh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. And I'm Mimi. <laughs> we'll be your guides while you play as Rio and attempt to learn the truth. Before we go any farther, do you need any help with the controls? Right, let's see what we need. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. First off, you don't have to click every time to advance the text. You can use the space bar. But wow. you wanna click every time. <laughs> Also, you can press the control key to skip any text you previously read. <laughs> <laughs> this is really handy. <laughs> <laughs> That's everything important, right? I don't know. Where do I fit in? <laughs> <laughs> he just appears behind the two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, uh, do you have a straw? <laughs> <laughs> They're very young, Simon. I know, son. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Sorry about that. Sorry. Oh, you can't get the star. Well, uh, I'd also like to mention you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse or the page down key to roll back the scene. You can even make a different choice. Oh, that's good. Yes. Yeah, that is nice. Other aspects of the game. Oops. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Oh. Oh. Thought I'd do the same thing. There we go. I've just turned Skype to do not disturb because oh, okay. I'm a consummate professional. <laughs> <laughs> Other aspects of the game will be explained as they happen to come along, so let's move on. Oh, they're bored too. Yay! <laughs> There's one important piece of advice we should give you, though. And Alice goes, I said we're moving along, bitch. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> just reaches over and slaps her in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Normally in a game, you can generally trust what people say to you, but in this one, a lot of people you meet will have their own agenda. They may hmm. want you to think or do or think certain things for their own purposes. Most of the time, they have a good reason. Most they of don't the like time. you. It's like the plot of Dark Souls. <laughs> but you'll never find out the truth if you blindly trust everything they say. You have to use your own judgment appropriately. Don't forget this. Okay. Sometimes you might find yourself thinking, when I did this, that happened, and now I know this. So based on this, based on that, if I do this instead, ellipsis. Yeah, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Every time you play, you should use what you learned to try making something different happen. You'll get the most out of this game if you tried a lot of different options. The music is making my brain melt. <laughs> we can't hear it. I wish I could, though. <laughs> Don't worry if that sounds too overwhelming. We'll be here to guide you and give you advice. <laughs> We're all doomed. <laughs> hey, why do you get all goody two shoes lines or all the goody two shoes lines anyway? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> Slap in the mouth. 
You're the one saying things like, don't worry, and let me give you some advice. How come I don't get any of those lines? <laughs> how, how come How come this is this is my episode and I don't get any of the lines at all? <laughs> I've played this one well, haven't I? Why play against type? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, those are fighting words. <laughs> Just look you. at the face of Alice. I know. I'm, I'm you going to kill you. you. <laughs> Mimi! So, so sorry, you can be the one to give advice. Please don't be mad. Please don't kill yeah. me. Please yeah. don't. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> you say that, but there's nothing left to add now. Oh, look Apart at her this. sad Smack. face. Look, look at Mimi's yeah. sad face. Yeah. Oh, there she goes. Well, you can always say, do your best. That's good advice, right? <laughs> That's not advice, that's encouragement. Oh, heaven forbid. Encouragement? <laughs> but that's what you always tell me. Oh. Is that because you're not good at anything, Mimi? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you're a crybaby, so I have to cheer you up. Your dress sense is terrible. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we ran over a bit. <laughs> For now, just enjoy living life from the perspective right now. Good luck Rio. and do your best, Rio. Rio, Ryu. Good luck and Both. do your best. Definitely Rio. <laughs> How did it come to this? And no, Simon, you're not going to call him Bob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Through the rain pouring down from the sky, I can see all her gazes fixed firmly on me. My back is up against the cliff. I don't know exactly how far the drop is, but it's most certainly a fatal one. I had the world. I had everything. Parties in my honor, tributes from all over the world, servants at my beck and call, even adoration and fame. But I threw it all for away, and for what? Freedom. It's the one thing that I could never have. A detachment of mage knights who once served me now blocks my path. Each one of them holds a staff pointed directly at me. Oh, aren't I lucky? <laughs> Poised to act in a split second's notice. All I have is a simple sword, a gift from my father that I've carried with me all these years. Even now, it's still too large for me to wield properly. Mm -hmm. Very lucky. <laughs> but even if I could, I'd be no match for the elite soldiers I'm facing. I can see the fear and the pain in their eyes. Some of them are crying, but all of their hearts weigh heavily in their chests. They're torn between loyalty to their country and the one they once served. Me. I tighten my grip on the hilt of my sword and shout out to them. I refuse to be a pawn anymore. I refuse to be known only for the blood that flows through me. The pounding rain is mashing away at my strength, but I continue to clutch my sword. <laughs> you heard my words, but you never understood them. You saw me, but not for who I was. And now... For something completely different. <laughs> I grasp my sword with both hands and pull it free. Holding it aloft with all the strength my small hands can muster. What is he, three? <laughs> yeah. If you cannot know me by my words, then you will know me by my deeds. Well, that got a little wordy. <laughs> Just a little bit. I think I made up for you, you two earlier on. Yes. <laughs> Wednesday, March the 8th, 2006. Good morning, Shriden City! How are you this lovely Friday morning? You can expect sunny skies for the weekend, but <laughs> don't stay out too late. Sunday night, the thunderstorm in moving in is ellipsis! <laughs> morning already, but the bed is so warm and cosy. I shut my eyes for a few precious moments of rest, wondering if I can get away with pretending to oversleep. Okay, probably not. Fine. School it is. At least it's Friday, finally. <laughs> so was that just a dream, do you think? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> the market open today with tech stocks rising yet again. Analysts now say that this could spell trouble if the trend continues, as the invention corrects, a correction will. Ellipsis. <laughs> My name is Ryu. I'm 17 years old, and I attend Crystal Stream Collegiate Institute. <laughs> God. Gee, gods. That is otome. I go to school. <laughs> It sounds exciting, but the only thing impressive about the school is its name. 
No. Many economists have said the dramatic boom in Soyama's tech industry, the result of the Y2K disaster six years ago, has been healthy for the economy. Now, however... Honestly, I don't know why I bothered to attend school. Every class there feels as boring and meaningless as the one before it. Sometimes I marvel at how I ever found the motivation to cut finger the hot <laughs> fingers off my gloves. <laughs> Why can't I paint my room black? <laughs> Sometimes I marvel at how I ever found the motivation to get out of bed to school all these years. But I guess sentiments like that are pretty typical for a teenager living in northwestern Trident City. Nothing ever seems to change from one ho-hum day to the next. Ho-hum. Oh, Ah, shoot the time! Unique insight! Elizabeth, what's your take on? Click. If I don't hurry, I'll be late. Not that I really care, but... <laughs> hmm. Did she already leave without me? Right. Claire. Who's Claire? Who's Claire? Um, April. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You've just been voted in. <laughs> <laughs> in, and I don't know if you've noticed, but there's no picture here. You're actually that bicycle. I am that bicycle. <laughs> well, let's hope bike. it's the bicycle because otherwise you're the stop sign. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a voice right now. Clear as a tame bicycle. Mm, try Scottish. No. It seems popular. <laughs> you're late, Rio. Oh, there she is. That's the wrong voice for that face. <laughs> so I should change it. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Honestly, do you derive some sort of twisted pleasure from keeping a busy girl waiting? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Claire. Have have a lot planned for today? N yes, I need to go find organically sourced napkins and get myself a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> <laughs> I grin disarming at her, disarmingly at her, trying to soften the rancor in her jabs. <laughs> Not letting it has much chance of working, though. This has been our morning ritual for years, and I'm pretty sure she's immune to whatever scant charm I possess by now. <laughs> Honestly, Rio, did you really think I'd overlook your lack of punctuality that easily? <laughs> yep. Definitely immune. Laura's never heard me do this voice live. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing to add to that one. <laughs> Is that autumn keeps going up and day. I know. <laughs> Every day is busy for me. You know that. Arm goes up, arm goes down again. <laughs> arm goes up, arm goes down again. It's exhausting. <laughs> Claire is a model student, always on top of the honor roll with plenty of extracurricular activities on the side. Mm -hmm. We've been friends since childhood, and yes, she was like this when we first met, too. <laughs> Naturally, she taunts me all the time for being such a slacker. She seems to delight in pointing out all my shortcomings. Is Reina yet here yet? Reina? Oh, oh Reina. Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> um, it could be Rhino. I, I don't know. It could be a typo. In, uh, in Japan, I sounds sound like an E. Nope. It looks like she's running late as well. <laughs> Despite all the grief she gives me, I like Claire a lot. She's awesome. <laughs> She's got great arm movement. <laughs> She's smart, motivated, and everything I'm not. I wish I could ask her out, but... That damned ellipsis. <laughs> There's a few problems with that. The first one is she happens to be dating someone else right now. As for the other one... <laughs> you and Reno would make such a perfect couple. After, after all, you're both always running late is that Claire is constantly trying to set me up with Rena instead. <laughs> Man, this is so ridiculous. I wish she would let it go. Oh, I think that's you, Simon. Yes, I was <laughs> totally spaced out there as the arm movement is hypnotizing me. <laughs> it's not like that, Claire. It's like this. Let me interpret it in mime. <laughs> oh, really? Then why are you getting so worked up about it? Because I hate you going on about it, can't you tell? <laughs> can't you stop? Will you please, please, please stop? <sighs> I've no idea. I'm not! <laughs> Doesn't look like oh, that the arm goes down again. <laughs> Come on, don't you think Rena is cute? Well, of course she's cute. 
Betsy, you do like her. That's not it, and you know it. Really now? Then what is it, Rio? We've been friends for ages now. You can tell me. I'm constantly fantasizing about you with your shirt off. <laughs> Who wouldn't look at those things? Oh, indeed. <laughs> She's definitely this episode's replacement, Ellen. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I can't say. I can't tell her, especially not like this. I'm going to try interpretive dance. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but that's hardly a compelling argument. Hmm. So tell me, if you insist you don't like her, what do you think of Rena then? Oh my god, she's a dog with a bone. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I can say that much to her. Well, there are a lot of cute girls out there, but Rena is beautiful both inside and out. I know. Don't ask me how I know, but I know. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> sure, she's a little clumsy sometimes, but isn't always uh, and isn't always sure what she wants for herself, but not much can stop her once she puts her mind to something. She's still in mean. Her name is definitely Rhino. It's just when she gets makes her mind up, she charges. <laughs> oh my God. She has the ability to accomplish anything she wants. Her only problem is deciding what that should be. What do you think? Do you think? Come on, tell me, please. <laughs> you know what, Rio? You're more intuitive than I thought. Too bad that doesn't seem to completely help your sense of awareness. But I do think Rena will be happy you said that. She's like, because I'm Toad's going to tell her. <laughs> right, Rena? Oh, no. It's because she's standing right behind oh, no. you. With a knife. Reep, 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 reep. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Over to you, oh, Laura. No. Can she be Scottish? Come on, voice Rhino. <laughs> There's no choice That's Scottish. That yeah, go for it. Yeah. Right, is it Ryu? Yeah. Ryu. Yeah. Bob. Bob, I never knew you thought of me like that. Oh, come on. It's, 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 a, it's a pet I, name between friends. I don't know what to say. Oh, man. Now I've done it. <laughs> Listen, Rena. You weren't supposed to hear that. I can stare at you guys blushing all day long, but I've got classes to attend. See you later. <laughs> She's like, see ya, losers. <laughs> 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 you, Claire, get back here. Claire takes off running and I sprint after her. Rio, Claire, wait for me. <laughs> no. Me. <laughs> Ellipsis. <laughs> I chase Claire all the way to school with Rena struggling to keep up. Yeah, that's a good part for me. <laughs> <laughs> Man. This day is already a pain at school. Hasn't even started yet. When I catch up with Rena, I start pulling her pigtails. Oh, yeah. But the scary part is, it's not really all that unusual. Oh. I sit down at my desk just as the teacher walks in. Looks like I barely made it on time today. The teacher knocks back a, a quart of whiskey and says, <laughs> "I'm okay. Just so I hear one." Uh, <laughs> we had a teacher that did that. It was hilarious. <laughs> All right, everyone, open your books to page three four two. Actually, I'll be picking up yeah, where we <laughs> left off about Soyama's role during World War II <laughs> during the Battle of Ellipsis. <laughs> I don't mind history that much, but we're going a bit slow for my tastes. World War II is complex to be sure, but the teacher still isn't covering the material very quickly. That's because I need to nap. <laughs> but whether or not the lessons are slow, I still have to sit through the same amount of class time to reach that blessed respite called lunchtime. <laughs> the music is starting to take over my mind. <laughs> Lunchtime! Time passes much faster when you're spacing out. Passes faster still when you're asleep. 
Most of my classmates are heading to the cafeteria, but I'm lazy, so we always eat lunch in the classroom. Wow. Unfortunately, I've got no food, so I'm going to have to eat a desk. <laughs> <laughs> I usually try to eat quickly, so Sydney doesn't catch up with me. Hello, Sydney. Hi. So I can spend the rest of the break relaxing or hanging out with Rena and Claire. God, Claire, can, Rena can teleport. Hi, Bob. Lord. <laughs> Hi, Rena. How was your morning? It was okay. Same as usual, really. Rena is really sweet, earnest girl with a kind heart. I know. <laughs> when it comes to knowledge, she can't be beat, but... Rio, I forgot my lunch again today. I don't suppose... I mean, uh, would you mind if... Well, guys, we're well over the 20 minutes, and on this massive cliffhanger... <laughs> <laughs> I just have to know what's going to happen with the yeah. lunch exchange. <laughs> Well, okay, if you ask, I, I, you ask tonight, I'm going to press space once more, but once more only. <laughs> and for all that bookishness, she is incredibly absent minded. Ah, so we still don't know. We don't know. Don't know. <laughs> all right, guys, that has been Fading Hearts. I've been Simon Parsons. These two have been insane. Say goodnight. Good night. <laughs> we'll see you all next time. Bye bye. <laughs>